Welcome to Cyber Culture Interface. Today we are continuing our review of the highest it certified in cybersecurity curriculum. And today we are looking at domain two, which covers the incident response, business continuity, and disaster recovery. If you remember in our last video, we talked about the fundamental concepts of the information assurance as being the CIA triad, and the CIA is the confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So the focus of domain two is on the availability component of the CIA triad and the importance of maintaining availability for business operations. So this uh, what makes up the domain two, the incident response, business continuity, and disaster recovery. The incident response talk about the mitigation of violations of security policies and recommended practices. Business continuity focuses on actions processes and tools for ensuring an organization can continue critical operations during a contingency and disaster recovery are these activities necessary to restore IT and communication services to an organization during and after an outage disruption or disturbance of any kind to the organization so this ensures that when all is done you know you can recover from a disaster so these things uh, are the components or are the things that mix up the domain two of ISE to satisfy the cybersecurity exam? So when we have the incident response plan, incident response plan responds to abnormal operating conditions to keep the operations going, or to keep business operations going. So this is talking about the thing, the plan that you have in place to ensure that when an incident happens or when something goes wrong. The business operation will continue and this has four main components according to the IAC2 certified in cyber security exam. These are the preparation components which are things you do before the incidents happen, happen at all. Then we have detection and analysis which are the things that you do during incidents. Things to talk about in, in, indicators of compromise. This is where you detect it and then you analyze incidents indicators then you have the containment eradication and recovery so in containment is where we make sure that the incident does not spread beyond and then eradicating and recovery so this is a component of the incident response plan and the final part of the incident response plan is a post incident activity so these are things you do after an incident things like you know documenting reporting knowledge sharing you know, ensuring that the information or the experience that happened during the incident are shared and given to uh, stakeholders who are concerned so that they can learn from it. These are things like lesson learned from an incident. So the second aspect of the business continuity plan. So the business continuity plan is designed to keep the organization operating even during a crisis. So when a crisis is going on, even before you finish eradicating or when you have not fully gotten a hold of it, it's so that business will not shut down. Maybe there's an infiltration in a bank and you, you, you don't have to shut down the banking operations because you have an infiltration. You'll be able to continue working and attending to your clients. So this business continuity plan contains things like how and when to enact a plan, notification systems, and call trees for alerting when the plan has been enacted, you know, contact numbers of, for contacting stakeholders involved, then you have the immediate response procedures and checklists and guidance from management. So these are talking to the things you do for during an incident to ensure business is still ongoing. Then for disaster recovery plan, we are talking about what is activated when incident response and business continuity fails. Disaster recovery plan is activated to ensure business comes back to normal as quickly as possible. And it has the following components within the plan. You have an executive summary, executive summary providing a high level overview of the plan. We have departmental specific plans. We have technical guides for IT personnel responsible for implementing and maintaining critical backup of systems. Then we have full copies of the plan for critical disaster recovery team members and checklists for certain individuals. Now, under this uh, domain too, uh, it's critical to understand some terminologies under incident response. So in incident response, we have a few terminologies that you need to familiar, get be familiar with before writing the exam. So one of 
one of them is breach so here we have i'm going to list out some of them the first one I'm mentioning here is breach so what do you talk about when you have a breach breach when you have a breach is when there's a loss of control a compromise you know an unauthorized disclosure or an unauthorized acquisition or any of such a similar occurrence so basically loss of control you know and then there's a compromise within your system or your network it's a breach then we have events so an event is any observable occurrence within your network or within your system like we can say within your organization also and an exploit so when a particular attack you know exploits the vulnerabilities within your system we call that attack an exploit so that's what happens when vulnerabilities are taken advantage of then we have an incident Incident is an event that actually or potentially jeopardizes the confidentiality, integrity, or availability of an information system or this information the system is processing, storing, or transmitting. So when anything happens to all this data, we say an incident has, incident has occurred. We also have intrusion. So intrusion is an, a security event or a combination of events that constitutes a threat, a security incident with which an intruder gains or attempts to gain or accesses, accesses a system or a system result without authorization. So when you have an intrusion, you say any of this, when any of these things happens, you say you have an intrusion, you know, meaning that there has been an exploit or meaning that uh, unauthorized attacks or when, or somebody attempts to, to, to gain unauthorized access. So when you notice any of these things within your system, there's an intrusion. Then we have a threat. So a threat is a potential for an agent, a threat agent, maybe a software or an application to exploit a vulnerability, a vulnerability within your system. So what is a vulnerability? Vulnerability is a weakness in, on, in an information system or the system security procedures or internal controls or implementation that could be exploited or triggered by a threat source. So when you have something within your system that can be taken advantage, you know, or exploited from a source within or external to the organization, we call it vulnerability. And then lastly, we have zero day. So zero day is talking about something that you don't know before. Previously unknown vulnerability within with the potential of exploiting without the risk of detection. Why it's called a zero day is because it doesn't have reference. So most of the time, these are vulnerabilities that a manufacturer or a creator of a system or an application does not know or has not yet found out within its system or something that maybe they found that they don't know how to fix it yet. There is no solution to it. So they may not be able to spot it when it happens. This might be... Uh, something that does not follow any recognized pattern or signature or methods before. So we call this zero day, zero day. And when it happens, it's referred to as a zero day attack. So there are three possible models for an incident response team according to domain two of the highest to certified in cybersecurity. So we have the leverage model and then we have the dedicated model and also the hybrid model. So these three models are what uh, the IC to survive in cybersecurity exam talks about. So the leverage model is when you don't have uh, specific people within your organization who are committed or given a task or responsibility of ensuring that an incident response plan is implemented. So in this case, when an incident happens, people are drafted from you know within the organizations to constitute it like a task force that will implement the incident response plan. They are only Come, uh, put together when an incident occurs and after an incident may be dealt with they all you know go back to their respective assignment and they are not expected to they may not be called upon the next time when an incident occurs but when you have a dedicated model a dedicated model have people who have been selected or predetermined who are always responsible for implementing an incident response plan so whenever a, an incident occurs these are the people that are committed with that assignment of making sure the plan is implemented successfully. Then we have a hybrid model. In an hybrid model, you know, it is a combination of both the leverage and the dedicated you know, model. So it's a mix of the two. Maybe one or two people are dedicated and the others people, others that join the two are you know, not dedicated.
So finally, objectives of IEC to certify in cyber security domain two. So these are the things you are expected to know. You know, uh, after going through the domain two of the IEC to certify in cyber security, I mean, these are the things that we are expected to know, or to see, or to be able to respond to within the inside the exam or during the examination. We are taking the certification exam. So the first objective of IC2 certified in cybersecurity domain is to understand how organizations respond to, recover from, and continue to operate during unplanned disruptions. Another one is to recall the terms and components of incident response. Another objective is to summarize, to be able to summarize the components of a business continuity plan. Another objective of this uh, domain two is for you to be able to identify the components of disaster recovery. And lastly, it's, you are expected to be, you know, to practice the terminology of and review business continuity, disaster recovery, and incident response concepts. So these are the objectives of ISC to certify in cybersecurity. Once again, this is Cyber Culture Interface. If you have been able to learn one or two things from this video, please like, share, and subscribe so that this channel can grow and can be able to produce more content. Please watch out for the review of Domain 3 of ISC to certify the cybersecurity. Thank you.